Good morning. Uh, Good morning. We are we are at Computex. As you know, this is a very special year because this is the beginning of a new age in computing. Taiwan is the home of many of the world's great computer technology companies, starting from semiconductor technology (TSMC), packaging companies like Spill, system makers like Quanta, Foxconn, Wishtron, Avantech, Gigabyte, so many, ASUS, MSI, amazing companies here. This new beginning, because of artificial intelligence, is going to create enormous opportunities for the companies in Taiwan. I'll take a few questions. How do you feel about the uh, tensions in the region? Does that is that a cause for concern, or or, or is it benefit? Like, do you feel a lot confident with Taiwan becoming a world leader in, in uh, tech during this time of uncertainty? Uh, I don't I don't think it's either. We've been uh, doing technology and doing engineering and and uh, conducting business here in Taiwan for almost three decades. And uh, we're going to continue to do so. There's a uh, richness of, of uh, uh, great engineering and great technology. And um, we have a lot of partners here, obviously. And so we're going to continue to do that. We're investing in Taiwan. So what about the R&D center that uh, NVIDIA is investing in Taiwan? And they're going to hire 1,000 engineers in the future, right? So uh, which location you prefer, Tainan, Kaohsiung, or Taipei? That Everybody's care about it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one has the best night market? I guess we all have the best. <laughs> there you go. So they're all options. Of course, Taiwan is a very large site for us already. Taipei, Shinshu. Over the next several years, we will build a new facility so that we can hire at least a thousand engineers. Uh, chip designers, system designers, software engineers, AI researchers. We have an excellent AI research lab here, working with universities and uh, uh, doing some break groundbreaking research. And so we're going to do just about everything that NVIDIA does here in Taiwan. And there's a richness of population of, of well-educated researchers, uh, excellent engineers, great technology, excellent work ethic, great spirit. It's a, it's a fantastic place. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to uh, uh, expanding our site here, and I'm very, very much looking forward to finding a nice site so that we can build a beautiful headquarters for our employees. I, I think I'm only Korean here. So, oh. So do you have any? Taiwanese, we say, Kamsha. Kamsha. Korean, you say, Kamsha. 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 So do you have any plan to visit Korea this year? For, for meeting Korean company like Samsung Electronics or SK. I would love to visit Korea this year, but right now I'm in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Why did you choose QCT as your first step in? Oh, why did I choose QCT? <laughs> you can put your paddle in your bag. You sure? Okay. Well, I didn't really choose uh, any order. However, QCT is one of our most treasured partners. We've known uh, the leaders of QCT for a very long time. I've known the management team a very long time, over a quarter century. We've been working together a very long time. So I, I'm looking forward to visiting QCT. What is your next stop? Next stop after QCT? Follow me, we'll, <laughs> I'll find out. Yeah, follow. AGI could be realized within five years. Do you think this time frame is shortening? Uh, let me start with AGI. First, it's very important to define AGI. There are many definitions for AGI. The abstract version of AGI, we don't know how long it will take. However, if you say that AGI is about a collection of tests that humans take, SAT test, or uh, graduating from high school test, or bar exam, or accounting test, or all these different tests, if you specify the tests, the collection of tests, I believe that within five years, large language models and AI will be able to achieve very good results on those tests as competitive as people. If that definition is uh, what is used, then I would say we will be very successful in five years. In fact, that definition is the most useful definition. And the reason for that is because we are looking to create computers to help our productivity help us be more successful, more prosperous. And so that test is actually a good test. Re with respect to digital humans, in the next several years, you're going to see robots 
with AI capabilities in the physical world. We call them humanoid robots. You're gonna see robots in the digital world. We call them digital humans. The technology is very similar. And so both will be very capable. Uh, why your hair is so white? <laughs> Two reasons. Okay. One, I'm old. No. Two, not old. I work very hard while I'm old. Oh. Okay. I enjoy hard work. Okay. Thank and you. I don't color my hair. <laughs> so it is what it is. Our company, as you know, has invented a new way of doing computing. It has taken us 20 years to achieve it. CUDA accelerated computing enabled generative AI to happen. And so this trip is about uniting, partnering with our ecosystem here to get ready to help the world build a new generation of computing infrastructure and new type of data center called artificial intelligence factories, AI factories, that will create and manufacture for the first time this incredible thing called artificial intelligence. It's invisible, but it's valuable. Like electricity, 200 years ago, it was invisible, but it was valuable.